Only Pluto has been known for much longer. Pluto was the ninth planet in the solar system until researchers discovered the other minor planets beyond Neptune. We now know about a dozen of these planets and Pluto actually had to officially relinquish its planetary status. The researchers were faced with the choice of either including all of them in the planetary ranks or drawing a line. Officially, we now only have eight planets in the solar system, but among amateur astronomers and space fans, Pluto is still the ninth planet, and Gong Gong is now the tenth. Pluto is a prime example of the surprising worlds these planetoids harbor. Before NASA's New Horizons spacecraft sent us to Pluto, we thought Pluto was a dead world, dark and lonely. But in 2015, light was finally shed on the darkness, and Pluto was given a face. Since then, we know that Pluto even shows signs of geological activity and possibly ice volcanism, and that is nothing short of a miracle. In its depths, the dwarf planet could be warm and have water. This would mean that life in its simplest form could also exist on Pluto. It's incredible. We've now discovered a tenth planet in the solar system, and it's amazing. NASA has now officially confirmed the discovery and issued an initial statement. This much we can already reveal. The mysterious 10th planet is bigger than Pluto. But how did NASA actually manage to track down this distant planet? And how could we have overlooked it for so long? We introduced this as Gong Gong, the 10th planet in our solar system, discovered in the depths of trans-Neptunian space Gong Gong, now opens a whole new chapter in the history of astronomy. This mysterious dwarf planet is actually known to scientists as 2007 or 10. Gong Gong was discovered on July 17, 2007 by a team of astronomers consisting of Meg Schwarm, Mike Brown, and Dave Rabinowitz from the California Institute of Technology. Gong Gong is a truly unique object in our solar system with a diameter of about 1,535 kilometers, it's the third largest known dwarf planet. Gong Gong is a mysterious world. The entire world of trans-Neptunian dwarf planets is a mysterious bunch that scientists do not yet fully understand, with the exception of the series, which is located in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. All members of the minor planet class orbit far, far from the Sun Far from Earth, these planets are small and cold worlds, which makes them difficult to observe. So it's no wonder that astronomers have only discovered most of them in the last decade. Gong Gong, a mysterious world at the edge of the solar system, the new planetary surprise makes its rounds around the Sun even further out than Pluto. Gong Gong has a remarkably slow rotation. It takes almost 45 hours to complete a full revolution that's slower than any other known body orbiting the Sun. This slow rotation could give clues to a dramatic past. Perhaps the small planet had a collision with a larger celestial body, or one of the other dwarf planets which knocked it slightly out of rotation. The surface of Gong Gong is another mystery that intrigues researchers like Pluto. This planet also has a striking reddish color, which is probably caused by thins. These are complex organic molecules that form when solar radiation hits methane and other gases. Scientists see this reddish color as an indication that Gong Gong has a rich and complex chemical composition, which is interesting. For a long time, researchers thought that so far out in space, there could be barren chunks of rock. But now we are learning that the trans-Neptunian planets are active little worlds and each one is a surprise in itself. Interestingly, Gong Gong also shows signs of the presence of water and methane, indicating an icy and perhaps even geologically active world. Cryovolcanism is caused by the freezing of water and other volatiles, as well as an active layer beneath the ice sheet. The geological activity of the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn was previously explained by the strong gravitational hole of the gas giants, but where Gong Gong and Pluto are doing their rounds, there are no gigantic planets that could be responsible for this activity. The secret of these planets must lie within. 
Surprise! Gong Gong is bigger than Pluto. The dwarf planet, 2007 or 10, was closely observed by NASA's Kepler space probe in 2014. For a long time, 2007 or 10 was the last unnamed planet in our solar system, and one of a list of around half a dozen dwarf planets, the first study revealed that the object is quite dark and rotates more slowly than almost any other body. It was only later that researchers took a closer look at the dwarf planet and found all the new exciting details. For their research, the scientists used NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and archived data from the Herschel Infrared Space Observatory. As part of the K2 planet hunt, HERSEL was a mission of the European Space Agency and NASA. The research report on these results was published in the Astronomical Journal. As part of the new K2 study, the researchers arrived at completely new results for the size estimate of Gong Gong. The combination of K2 and her cell data provided a revised measurement of the planet's diameter and concluded that Gong Gong is about 250 kilometers larger in diameter and may even be slightly larger than Pluto. Although its elliptical orbit periodically brings the 10th planet almost as close to the Sun as Neptune, it's currently twice as far from the Sun as Pluto. This makes it difficult to accurately capture and study Gong Gong in the vastness of space. The mysterious world of dwarf planets, it sounds incredible, but there have always been dozens or even hundreds of small planets in the solar system, and we just haven't seen them. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh, an American astronomer. At that time, Tombaugh and his colleagues were on the hunt for the mysterious planet X, and they found Pluto. Almost 100 years passed before it turned out that Pluto was not alone. In 2005, Eris was discovered, which is almost as large as Pluto, with a diameter of about 2,326 kilometers. Eris is known for its extremely elliptical orbit, which takes it far outside the Kuiper belt. Shortly afterwards, Haumea joined the group group of dwarf planets with its elongated ellipsoidal body and a diameter of around 1,632 kilometers. Unlike Gong Gong, Haumea rotates incredibly quickly once, every four hours, which presumably gives it its unusual shape. Haumea also fascinates researchers with its ring and its two moons, Hiyaka and Namaka, with a diameter of around 1,430 kilometers. Makimaki is the third largest known dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt. This one is known for its bright icy surface, which is rich in methane and ethane gas. Gong Gong was added in 2007. These dwarf planets, also officially known as trans-Neptunian objects, are fascinating worlds in their own right, and researchers even believe that they could be further significant keys to understanding the history and evolution of our solar system. So friends, what are your thoughts about this? Comment below, like and share this video with space enthusiasts and subscribe to our channel.